G'day everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Ray0AU and welcome to a first look at the Grave Digger. Sounded interesting. So, thought we'd jump in and have a look. I uh, just wanted to say a big thanks to uh, the devs for uh, providing me with a key to have a look at this. So it is available on Steam. So, um, let's jump in and have a look. I um, think I'm going to go standard for now. Recently hired by Turner Blackwell, a local reverend. There's not much to know about the church, but they claim to be a newer denomination. Tonight's your first night and you have something. Reverend Turner C. Blackwell. I am in the back. Okay. Can't leave. Where's the broken glass everywhere? Is that Bible? A couple more Bibles. Nothing to deposit. Nothing interesting to place on the altar. Pretty run down. Thing here circles really was not expecting that okay hello reverend good it's about time you showed up there's much work to be done okay before we get started, go grab that shovel over there. Good. You see, we need to make money. Alas, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and he hasn't been too kind to us lately. We can't operate on tithings alone. So, we need to do something else. You will be digging up graves. The occupied ones. The ones with the lifeless inside. My body snatchers. Head outside here and pick any grave with a marker. Dig it up, grab the casket by its handle, and bring it back here. Then put it on the table. Now, get to it. Okay. Right. Got one, two, three there. John Crow, Dream Warrior, Kinzil. Possibly uh, backers for the game or something. Where's your reverend stuff? Doesn't look like you've been doing too badly, buddy. Like, money-wise. From that door? Anyway. Do you have a flashlight or anything? We do. So this is section A. Inzio. Uh, 
Don't do anything there. Can I dig this one up? It's Dream Warrior. His grave is full of sh <laughs> of shite. So there's nowhere for it to be flushed. Okay. to do to dig pressing E think much is happening crow Man who couldn't be quiet. Okay, got it worked out, I think. To do it on the, um, the tombstone head. Okay. Okay. Gotta push this in. What? Right. This isn't creepy at all. open up with your hands you need a tool sorry about take everything you find of value check all the fingers the wrists the neck all around the body anything of value believe me they won't be missing it <laughs> You're not Sometimes these creepy at all. Can have apartments built into them by the feet. Check them if you're able. They could have expensive items inside. You'll need a lockpick to open them. Get more online if you run out. When you're done, close the casket and move it back onto the cart. Two rings and a necklace. Anything else here? So, you said something about foot end. Nothing there. Well, I guess we close that. Door is locked. Take it back, bury it, and bring
bring me another. And be quick about it. I expect three digs a night. Afterwards, you may sleep in the bedroom down the hall. Is this Use slave labor? Purchase anything you might need. Whatever you find, you must put in the alms box on top of the altar out front. I will handle selling everything in the morning and give you your cut. By the way, if you find anything interesting, like what? leave it on the mat on top of the altar. Leave. What am I going to find? Welcome to Grave Digger. Your job is to dig up three graves per night and deposit all valuables you find in the alms box. The alms box is sitting on top of the altar in the main church area. If you come across anything interesting during your digs, you must leave it on top of the altar. There are items you can purchase from the online store to help you find these interesting items. You can access the store on your computer. Okay. I guess we take you back. Click on this again. Sorry, Dream Warrior. There you go. Ever know anything's been touched? Uh, let's do this far one. Dig the dig this one up. Worried what I'm going to find in these. Okay. Right. You go. Reverend's disappeared. I don't think I even want to know what he's up to. Bath. Aren't you the same guy? What's this down here? Burnt bones. You've discovered something interesting. Burnt bones. Bones you collected appear from a full set. Maybe there are more bones buried in other caskets. Just some of the items from the paranormal pantry shop may lead to finding the rest. The Reverend did say that if you find anything interesting to leave them on the map on the altar. Found a left leg bone. Why is this here? That's a very good question. Okay, you've got a necklace. Oop, demonic corruption. Demonic entity is trying to gain power by placing corrupting symbols all around the church. The longer these symbols remain active, the stronger the demon will become, and the more the corruption will spread. Holding a crucifix next to the corruption will clear it away, but you will lose your crucifix. If the crucifix is already placed in the room, as the demon tries to create a demonic symbol, it will be prevented and your crucifix will degrade. Okay. Couple of rings. Oh, there was another ring there. Bring us around. Okay. that there before hearing whispering Ooh. 
What have I got myself into here? Pretty sure this wasn't in the job description when I when it was advertised. John Crow, you're back in the ground. Guess we got one left to do. Kinzio. Drag you out. This will be our third one for the night, so that'll uh, satisfy our uh, contract, so to speak. Concerned about that up there. I'm not sure that was there before. Necklace. It looks like it should be something, but it's not. Rings. Oh, you had a few rings, buddy. Don't like this. Get the back here, no. It's number three. No. What's that noise? Kinsey all back in the ground. Okay. Looks like we've got a, a bit of a map here. We've done those three there. So. Work our way through the wall. Okay, tells us which are the uh, high dollar ones. These are the high dollar ones up here. Okay. It's the door. Oh. Don't see any other corruption around. Put our stuff in there and then, okay, there's the leg bone. Crunch. Guest room. Key, gate key. Ah, crucifixes. Uh, you know what? I think I'd like one here. 
be more from the looks of it. So let's have a look in here. Was that one? Yes. Oh, that's bright. You did get rid of it. We got we got two lock picks, one crucifix left. Okay. Hopefully what we need to do. Paranormal pantry. The paranormal pantry is your online shop for anything you may need. You may choose to purchase an item to be delivered tomorrow, or you may have it delivered instantly, but with an increased cost. Pressing the icon will display information about the item and the item name. Items delivered will be left in boxes near the gate outside. Use the red side door to get to them quickly. Okay. Do I have any money, you know? Door. Count balance, hundred dollars. Need some more. You have to do the more. Uh, Or should be closed before you sleep. Okay. I need some more crucifixes. Room light should be off. Amp should be off. Of course, it's got to be dark, hasn't it? Let's have a sleep. I'm not confident about sleeping in this place. Don't know. the reverend creepy creepy man what are you doing I survived night one packages have been delivered night is quiet Leave two at thirty. Okay. Turn everything on. Uh, so we've got two forty-one. Do you get three crucifixes? So okay, so that should have delivered. Those down here. Yep, so we got three crucifixes. Thinking. It's boosts. These new shoes are designed for running and will increase your movement speed by a lot. The box. Let's buy them. Premium membership benefits reduce the cost of all items by 20%, instant shipment by 25%, cost of boost by 10%. 200 bucks. What's this for? Your ability to increase the quality of the items you receive. Right, one dowsing rods and batteries to plate 50% slower and then 100% slower. Okay. I think. Got three crucifixes. Get some more. Some lock picks. Okay. 
add another one of you in. Okay. Used to pick locks for which you do not have a key for these. Oh, what did I buy? Oh, those dowsing rods. Oh, you idiot. I bought dowsing rods, not lock picks. Oh. Which I can do. Should have clicked on the item. All right, let's go for number eight. It's this Morgue Mistress in Loving Memory. Okay. Well, Morgue Mistress, you're going to come to the morgue with me. Go on a date. What's that noise? all about that I'm not happy with I'm not happy with that noise at all well, this is a bit faster First one for the night. We'll have a look around first. Some corruption there. Be gone, demon. Be gone. Get rid of that. Being any more. Room should be okay because I've got a crucifix there. What are you up to in there, Reverend? Okay. Get to work. Sleep, buddy. Rings. Got this hand. Like an expensive uh, jewelry there anything else around oh compartment I have any more lock picks shame all right I guess you're gonna have to go back You round, been you right round. Really want to put a spotlight on where we're doing this. Seems a bit weird. I think that's everything from. Area A. Yep. So we've cleared Area A. Let's go over to B. We don't have any lock picks. We'll probably want to stick to... Let's go to D. Let's do 28 and 29 for the second night. We need to get some more lock picks. Oh, 
right? Let's... Three in September, it's time to fly. This raven will walk the earth never more. Okay. Oop. What happened? No. Back in the uh, grave. This should be number 28. That's about it. Back here? No. Yep. Lucky because we haven't got any lockpicks, so. Alright. No. Close. Come back in. Make sure I'm getting the right person. No. Oh. oh. What was that? Oh. Well, that's put the heart rate up. Uh, he's in twenty nine. Twenty nine. Andrew Martin. Okay. Oh. That did not do me any good at all. Okay. It's going to have a few jump scares in it. Sorry in September. Lay you to rest again. Next one. Andrew Martin. The better be pizza. Fair enough. You'd imagine it be um Wood oven fired. I can't do anything else. Is there anything around me that's going to... Okay, so if we get on the path, it goes a bit quicker. Nice. Be number three for the night. If we get a day off. Okay. 
Okay. Corruption there. No. Hey, do you want to come out and sort sort out what's going on here? Okay, here. Got a couple of crucifixes. What's going on in here? Anything? Oh, yes. Over here. Yeah, I see you. I see you. No, nice. Oop. Go deal with this. Clear him away. So we need a good stock of crucifixes. Still hearing you. Okay, let's do this one. Thing at the back here. Oh, hello. Okay. Nothing else around. Like it, no earrings or anything. Okay. The last time, I'm not sure I want to do. I want to do this, but okay. Brace ourselves. We cleared the corruption, so it shouldn't be too bad. back the rest okay you up let's have three for the night we've done those I see you actually I've got just the thing for you yeah no 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 Anything else? Not seeing any other corruption. We haven't got anything else to put on the altar, but we do have a bit of money there. Okay. Delivery six. Okay. You can be turned off. the door lamp off we've made it through our second night thing Something gonna happen Didn't pay us a visit. Live night two. Okay. 
two hundred dollars. It is quiet. Needs to clear all the corruption. Okay. All right. Well, bring back my bone. Okay. There's a first look at the grave digger. I'm actually uh, quite intrigued by what's going on here. Um, yeah. That's what I'm going to call it for this episode. Any reason to be doing these? Is it just... Being in the drawers? Like it. Okay. But yeah, that's what I'm going to call it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Ray Zero Way You. Signing out.